Hey guys, I wanted to jump on real quick and let you know that I filmed a video yesterday. It was two hours long and it will not upload for the life of me. I've tried so many different times. I'm still trying. Right now it's at 9%, just to let you know. When they're longer, it's harder for them to convert and then they have to upload to YouTube. It's not even converted yet. So I did do an all signs and they were pretty in depth. So that's why it was so long, but uh, I wanted to warn you about this energy this weekend because the moon is in Pisces and Neptune is in Pisces. So the moon is right here on Neptune and it causes, especially for Pisces or any of the mutable signs, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, it causes a, kind of a need to escape. You will be more susceptible to being sucked into any kind of illusion deception so uh, you want to be careful making any kind of rash decisions especially with love or money jumping into things um, because they may not be what they seem so that's just a little warning to those that feel the need to escape this weekend drugs and alcohol will not be great so I was just gonna pull a quick, quick for this weekend for the collective spirit. We have a lunar eclipse coming. I'm trying to get my hands out of the, <laughs> they look like giant hands. She's got giant hands. I wonder why that is. Ooh, my phone's too close to my face. Anyway. We have a lunar eclipse coming on the 19th next week in Taurus. Okay. So this is Four of Cups. He looks aloof. He looks like, eh, don't really want to. So don't go into things that feel uncomfortable, things that aren't everything you ever wanted you know if it feels uncomfortable or you just don't want to now is the time maybe to say that you could be dealing with a soulmate we have six of cups here this is about the past childhood connections nostalgia um it's a very sweet loving connection so we may be feeling nostalgic we may easily get sucked into things that we know aren't going to work things that you've been through before, you know, you tried to fix it, tried to fix it, not going to happen. That kind of energy here is like from the past, something that you may have positive memories about, but doesn't necessarily mean it's, it's a good thing for you right now. Also with that four of cups, it's like not really knowing what you want, not having the options available to you that you want. It's like you, you may know what you want, but the those options aren't available right now. So it's kind of hard to find the pathway. Tell me about the collective spirit for this weekend with the moon, with Neptune and Pisces. Um, you could find yourself being more emotional this weekend. We still have the sun in Scorpio and we have Mars in Scorpio and uh, Mercury as well. So you may be taking things more personally, trying to get behind the scenes of things, looking at the deeper meaning of things. Scorpio is an investigative energy, so be careful how you feel towards your partner and others around you. You may be more susceptible to having trust issues, being suspicious of others, wanting to like check somebody's phone, that sort of thing, you know, which isn't good. So just be careful. It does kind of seem like there's a... It's just a discontent. Uh, maybe remembering how things used to be. This could be in your relationship or in your job. Thinking about how things used to be. Um, and feeling like they're kind of not like that anymore. Things have kind of dwindled away. Temperance popped out. This is Sagittarius energy. This is a card about um, waiting. Waiting on guidance. And tempering the waters a little bit. Trying a few different ways to... To get things how you want them. You know, alchemizing with the new. 
manifesting, but not necessarily wanting those uh, results right away. It's like, what are the long-term things that I can do? And as we wait a little bit and gain this clarity over time, this is enlightenment. This could be your angels, your guides trying to come in and talk to you. And you could even have an epiphany in this moment, in this weekend. Pisces is extremely psychic and Neptune there will be showing you things, but you got to be careful because we don't know what's illusion and what is not, you know. So ultimately, this brings victory after this weekend. Just be careful. I don't want anybody over drinking, overindulging and things because they're trying to escape, trying to go into a different energy. We really just need to feel this right now. So the six of wands is moving forward. This is the homecoming. This is celebration. This is even the wedding card um, for some people. So I think the main energy here we want to look at is why. Why things feel discontent. Now, remembering how things used to be is a big problem for people because we need to let go of the past. And if we've already been shown that things aren't going to develop in the way that we thought, it's time to let those things go. And waiting, doing this, not rushing into new things, not trying to go back and fix things, but just kind of taking a pause and reflecting um, on what needs to be done. That card isn't necessarily a card of no action at all, the temperance. It's more of like what you can do within you. What is it within me that I can change? What are the necessary steps that I can take? In alchemizing, here is, uh, I'm going to say this is Archangel Michael. He has these cups. He's alchemizing. So he's tempering the water. You know, he he's trying to get it just right. So where are the areas that, where you can change that will lead ultimately to this victory for you? And uh, it is a celebration, ultimately, and growth. So we want to take action on things, but... It needs to be um, it needs to be in alignment and if it feels like this I don't think that's alignment right he doesn't like that energy too much anything else what's the advice for the collective for this weekend spirit so anything so spirit uh, I kind of am getting this anything that feels like you're not all in don't dedicate your energy to that this weekend. If your heart's not set on it, don't do it. If you had committed to something and now you just really don't want to do it, um, this is the energy where you're going to be like, sorry, I just kind of don't feel like it now. You know, and people might be upset with you, but in their own ways, individually, I'm sure they feel that way about things in their life too. So don't worry about those kinds of people that do that. You just want to say, yeah, judgment. Okay, so this is the advice. Make a decision. Judgment call is being made. So I feel like some people are in this space where they know it doesn't feel right. You know, but they're they're basing their feelings and what they want for the future on what used to be. On the good times. On, on the positive memories. And like hoping, trying to get that back somehow. But, but God, the universe, spirit, whatever you believe in, is showing us now at this time that that's not necessarily going to happen for you. It's not going to come to fruition. So... It's time to pivot. It's time to switch it up. It's time to take action in a new way by changing the things, feeling it out, changing the things that you can manifest within your own private little circle here in your world. Okay, what can you control? What can you change? And it may not be major change until this lunar eclipse. It, this will bring big changes. Uh, eclipse season always does. But for now, I'm thinking, what are the smaller things that you can control that you can handle in your own realm and within you that will ultimately bring you victory um, regardless of who's involved or who else supports you because this judgment call it's like an inner knowing it's like you kind of knew this wasn't going to work and maybe you were waiting for a big sign maybe you were waiting for um, your boss or your spouse or someone to kind of show you their true self or show you their true colors in a way that that would make you Go, oh yeah, I already knew that, but I just needed that extra push. You may not get that extra push. So that is why you have to make your own decisions based on your inner knowing, following your intuition, and and uh, really just being there for yourself, being your own support system. And I think through that, the universe is showing us and has been that uh, 
we have to make our own choices now. We're not going to have the help that, that we need all the time. And it doesn't give you an excuse not to make the best decision for yourself in that moment, right? Because if you don't, then you're waiting, you're putting it off, and then ultimately you're going to pay the price for that when you're not where you want to be months from now, years from now, because you were afraid to pull the trigger on something. Anything else, Spirit, for the collective? Yep, High Priestess, okay? And it popped out. Well, I see that on the bottom too. Eight of Swords. Okay, so some of us are just stuck in our heads. We are the ones keeping ourselves trapped. And this goes for the collective on so many levels in the world right now. Not standing up for ourselves, not speaking up for ourselves because we think we have no power. That comes from the internal dialogue that we need to get rid of. Ultimately, we have the High Priestess, so we have this higher guidance. Are we listening to it? Are we listening to our inner knowing? That's the main question. And it did pop out in the middle of the deck here with the Ten of Pentacles. So this is ultimately what you want. So we're listening to our higher guidance and intuition. It may hurt right now. It may suck right now because we feel like this. It's, it's discontent. It's not exactly what we want. And so in order to make room for what we want, we're going to have to let that go because this is what we want. We want the family, the dogs, the kids, the money, the dream job, the dream house. Everything is a Ten of Pentacles. So this is the best possible outcome you could decide for yourself. So this is where we want to go. This is the choice that we have to make. This is the decision we're going to have to pull the trigger on this weekend. So keep in mind, with Neptune, with the moon, there are things being hidden. There are emotions not being shared necessarily. When you think about the moon card in the tarot, it's something hidden. It's something, some sort of illusion or deception. And um, it could also have to do with a mother figure, your mother, or how you feel just emotionally in a situation. Someone's not sharing completely what they want to. And this could be you or the person you're dealing with. And this could be in any situation. So take it how it resonates. This is the collective reading. So this is for you or your spouse or how you feel in your job or how you feel towards, you know, your best friend. It could be in any situation, really. So we know we have to make moves. We know we have to make changes. I think we were afraid to make those moves um, and really waiting on another sign. And, and Spirit is like, here's your sign. It's you. It's your intuition. It's you already knew this. It's time to make a decision. Okay, so hope you guys have a great weekend. Be careful of escapism. And I'm going to try to get this video downloaded because, um, converted and uploaded because it was just really in-depth and it took a long time and I did every sign. So I'm going to try to get that going for you guys. Hope you have a great weekend and be careful of the need to escape. If you have a choice that you need to make and you know you need to make it, then Maybe now is the time. Maybe. Bye.